If you're trying to put ideas into the minds of others, you need to think of yourself as an educator. If you constantly feel like you're being misunderstood or misread by various people in your audience, the only common denominator is you and or your chosen method of communication. So let's step back for a second and apply an actor's scene analysis to this. What's your objective? As a marketer, your objective is to reach your audience and get them to buy. So you try first the easiest possible thing you can do, talking to them the way you would imagine you would like to be taught to. But they don't buy. Why not? You start rolling out facts, features, benefits, data, all this stuff that you think makes your case for you, and yet they don't act. They don't respond the way you think you would respond. Are they crazy? Are they even listening? Do they, are they stupid? Alter your actions and you stand a chance at altering the result. Don't resent your audience for not getting it. Instead, wrap your facts and data and your features and benefits into storytelling that reflects the lived experience of the person or the people you're trying to reach. It's the responsibility of the storyteller to get their ideas into the minds of their audience. It is not the responsibility of the audience to accept those ideas. You're in control, you're in the driver's seat. Talk to them, don't talk to you. This is where thinking like an educator helps again. Imagine a teacher is trying to reach a particular student in her class and the student's not responding. It's, they're, they're teaching basic arithmetic and the, and the student, he's there every day, but he's failing. He's, 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 not, he's not performing as highly as, as we would expect him to. What does the teacher do? Does the teacher start to resent the child? Does the teacher look at the child and say, you're just not getting it, you're stupid? Do, 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 we, do we just completely discount that kid? Of course not. A good educator will ask questions. A good educator will try to investigate why that child isn't performing up to the level they'd expect. Try to understand the child's lived experience. Did they not eat breakfast today? Are they suffering maybe with a learning disability, potentially? Do, it, 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 were they bullied on the way to class today? You would ask questions, you'd try to investigate this, you'd, un, you'd try to figure out why what you're saying is not resonating. But most importantly, after listening, the educator will calibrate his or her actions going forward to better reach that child. Those of us who aren't educators, those of us in marketing, those of us in communications, we could stand to learn a lot by the way educators deal with this. When you don't feel you're being heard, it doesn't necessarily mean that your message is wrong. Although you should have your mind open to that, what it more often means is that you just need to calibrate what you're saying to reflect your audience's lived experience.